Oh, I'm glad uh, not many people turned up. Much. Hello, uh, I've got a back there. I'm going to be in Vanessa for Christmas, so I think I'll say I have a happy Christmas and New Year now. And uh, send all my Christmas presents to London with the Intellivision, alright? And if anyone is wins the lottery tonight, so I've signed loads of lottery tickets, can you uh, remember to phone up London Weekend Television and give me uh, half your money? No way, alright then. Um, I've, uh, I think I've buttoned in a speech to the mayor after you <laughs> like Mary, sorry. Just buttoned in there. <laughs> sorry. Hello. Back in everyone. It's good to see so many of you here tonight on this very cold evening. So I will not keep this, I will show, keep this short for the switching of the Christmas lights, which completes a very successful town day. When I first heard that Cobra the Gladiators would be here today, it worried me a bit. And I wondered if I would have to hang tough or scale the wall. Yes, it is a very big one to scale, but I was relieved to know that that was not needed. And I was delighted to hear that more lights have been added to the display this year, making Chomsford a brighter than ever. I do hope that it's only a bumpy year for Chomsford and shopkeepers alike that Chomsford has a wide range of special shops, as well as having large stores offering a fine selection of goods. In addition, this town has much to offer the visitors, an excellent restaurant with entertainment to suit all ages. And it gives me great pleasure to congratulate the Breeze competition winner, Sally Crow, who is with me here tonight to switch the lights on. So it's enough of me, so without further ado, I wish you all a good Christmas shopping. I now hand you over to Steve George to do a practice countdown, ensuring that Sally and I and Cobra get it off and get it right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 